This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium, small batch, roast to order, veteran owned coffee company. They are a world class hand roasted micro batch coffee company, meaning that they all of your coffee is freshly roasted after you ordered. They are located in Perrysburg, Ohio, and they import all of their coffee beans from high quality places such as Brazil, Ethiopia, Indonesia, and other far off lands. Be sure to find your favorite product over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee Company, America's local coffee roaster. All right, Kyle, uh, we're, we're doing sloop hoops. Lord help us. We're doing the, ho- we're doing the hoops. Lord help us. We're doing some sloop hoops. <laughs> the goods, the bads, we're going to cover it all here. The, well, the bads. Are there goods <laughs> to cover? Maybe, but no, we'll get into that here. No, so there's not. let's, let's jump into it, Jared. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? I have no complaints. Um, well, that's as always. That's actually a lie uh, because I'd like to complain about this basketball team. <laughs> Kyle, what the actual hell? We were talking about well, this we team. Did... We were talking about this team potentially being a fourth seed at one point. At one point, not that long ago. Yeah, and and we've we've talked about it, and I felt like I felt like like the past couple of weeks we just kind of just copied our episode, pasted into a new one. It, it was the same complaint from the previous losses, um, same praises from the wins, but but here we are. The la- last time that we talked. Ohio State had lost both of their games to Michigan, to Penn State. It's the same thing, same things that we're going to, that we yeah. mentioned it before turnovers, offensive rebounds, and just long, long periods of time of just not scoring. Like they just get cold for four, six minutes at a time. And it's just, you're not going to win games here, and we'll cover in the second half here of of um, their biggest challenge yet for the season. Yeah, what what are we do like what are we even doing here? Like lose a lose a, several winnable games at the end of the regular season. Several winnable games at the end of the regular season. Mm-hmm. Then, and they, then and they you lost lose their, and, to, and they lost their two. They lost their two um, two week bye for the uh, Big Ten tournament. So you had to play an extra game that you well, lost. Yeah, I, against the Nittany Lions, who aren't good. Like, let's just—they're not good. Uh, they had a losing record in conference this year. Um, they had a they had a losing record period this year. Um, that that's it's not as bad as losing to Nebraska, but man, it's. It's not an excusable loss. And like, I know, I know they didn't have Zed key. They didn't have Kyle young. I know. I get it. But Brunk was playing well enough. Um, but like where, where else you're like, you, you, you lose too many forwards, right? Because like if Brunk's your center and EJ Liddell is is obviously your your shooting forward you've lost all your power forwards yeah um there there just weren't any more effective forwards left on the team um wheeler played well at moments and brenham played well in moments um i the hype about him going to the NBA after this season, I would say, are um, I, 
I pumped the brakes. Like, he's good. He's very good, and he'll be very good. But I don't know. If I was going to risk my future on taking the leap to the NBA now as opposed to next year, really have to stop and take a look at your lack of consistency if you're Brian Umber. And he's gotten better, and he will keep getting better. I acknowledge this. I think he'll be tremendous next year. And I think he will improve his draft stock tremendously with one more year. Mm-hmm. Because right now, if I'm an NBA person, I look at him and I'd be like, well, okay, but is he is he clutch? Could Can he be the number one guy on a team? Can he score when he absolutely needs to? And, and I'm not... I've not seen that happen consistently. Um, There's lots of potential there, and he could still potentially get drafted fairly high on potential, if nothing else. But where's the consistency? Uh, And again, I I think one more year in college, he'll get that consistency. Because, I mean, we saw how far he came from the beginning of the season to now. Mm -hmm. But really, I I would seriously pump the brakes on that NBA talk. Yeah, and we've seen it, especially the last the last couple of weeks of the season here. Ohio State lost four of their final five games here, and we we talked about the, like the last the last five or six games here. Oh, what do we think Ohio State's record would be? We were thinking like four and one would be, I think, what we would like to see. Potentially see them go three and two, but sure, one and four. No. <laughs> one in four and be in one of those law lo- in one of those their one win was maybe the team I was thinking they were going to lose to. <laughs> right. They they lost they lost two winnable games and they lost two games that they absolutely should have won. Mm-hmm. And that's that's not that's not gonna get it done by any means. Um it was it was it was terrible all around. Um and, and like, yeah, Zed Key and Kyle Young. I get it. It's, I get it. Like, who who do you replace? You're out of forwards at that point, right? Yeah. So I I get it. I do. Um. But it's I I still don't think it's I don't I don't think it's tolerable. <laughs> honestly, I I don't think. Again, like. With that being, I was, I mean, cause like we did a big 10 bracket in, in the Sloopcast server, right? I said they'd beat, I don't think I said Penn State cause I think I had Penn State losing. I think I had Penn State losing in the first round, but I, I had them winning one and then no, no mad. You do not. Uh, I had them winning one and then like losing the next one. Cause I, I like no Kyle Young, no Zed Key, like they'll win one and then get bounced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they didn't even win that one. Like that is with my expect. Cause I, I got, this is by the way, 100%. This is speculation for me. I know nothing. I want to state that very clearly. This isn't me. This is pure speculation on my part. I mean, you had Holtman essentially say, uh, uh, Zed Key and Cal Young are making progress. Y'all, by my math, Kyle Young has had three concussions in 18 months. I don't, I, 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 I don't think he's coming back. Not no. for Ohio with, State. With that, with, maybe not for anyone. Yeah, with like, that many concussions, yeah, I think, I think he's pretty much done. I think I think you just got to and it depends you know, upon the severity his... of those concussions and other things. We aren't his doctor. But that's that that's a three and 18 is scary or scary numbers. It is. Yeah. But I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see about Zed Key. Uh, Holtman on Sunday uh, said that they um, that playing on Friday will help Ohio State's injury situation with an additional time to rest and recover. Zed, he also goes on and said Zed Key and Kyle Young are making progress, but 
I just don't see Kyle Young just coming back to to play this year or yeah, we'll just let's just say Ohio, let's just putting say on an Ohio year. State jersey again. Yeah, we'll just say for this year. Um, yeah, and then he also he also uh, talks about saying um, we should probably go talking about uh, Justice Sue Wing hasn't played for the vast majority of the season here. Um, he said that he pretty much just said we should we should you know we should probably go ahead and just put out a statement uh, <laughs> that we don't anticipate him playing at Friday, and I'm I'm not sure why they haven't sooner, but. Yeah, don't don't expect suing to make a surprise entrance either. Yeah, I felt like suing and and some other guys. People were always like, "Oh, and just just wait till suing gets." I'm like, I don't think he's coming back. He's not. Sorry, like, like, a... like a, what what have you seen to this point to tell you that Seth Towns was gonna make was gonna make it back? What did you see yeah. about their careers and what have you heard to this point to tell you that just suing was coming back? Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I, I didn't see it. Like, I, I don't yeah. know. Like, Cause when Ohio state was playing well, you kept hearing it. Well, and you know, just, just wait till suing comes back and, and, and just wait. And yeah. And I'm like, I, guys, I, I think I said it on the podcast, a, you know, a month or more ago. I don't think they're coming back. I've just not seen yeah. anything from towns or suing uh, that, that said anything to me that they were going to come back and be viable. That right, That's Jared, fair. Uh, Nomad. <laughs> I, that's also fair. <laughs> All right, Jared. Um, I think we should do a, like a early, early, ad break here because we're going to talk about the NCAA tournament here. So let's go ahead and do a quick ad break from our good friends over at the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Yeah, Iron Bean Coffee. Uh, Kyle, did you know that Iron Bean Coffee um, has a has a back room? I do, Jared. Tell us more about this back room. Hey, hey Kyle, for the sake of this ad read, can you pretend like you don't know about the back room? Oh, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Jared, I what is hey, this hey, back Kyle. room you hey, talking Kyle. about? Hey Kyle, have you ever heard of the back room? No. What is this back room you speak of? Come, come here, I'll show you. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna speak softly for this ad read. There's a back room, and this is this is where we keep the murder coffee. Just follow me down this dimly lit stairwell into this room without any windows, and I'm gonna show you the murder coffee. Uh, right, right over here we have the serial killer, which is a vanilla buttercream coffee. Over here we have the bloodbath. The bloodbath uh, is a is a red velvet cake coffee. Uh, over here we have the turning blue. The turning blue is a cinnamon crumble, uh, blueberry cinnamon crumble coffee. And, and then right over here, if you look over here, we have the solus, which is a ginger snap coffee. Don't think about that one too hard. Just don't think about that one too hard. And then we have the Stay Awake, which is, I, I believe, the one uh, coffee of the murder coffees that is uh, not that is that is not flavored, uh, but it is what it lacks in flavor. It makes up when we're in caffeine. This thing is murderously caffeinated. So it's what it says right here on the on the thing. It's murderously caffeinated. So you can find those coffees and some considerably less murdery coffees over at ironbeancoffee.com. Once again, that is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roasters. All right, Jared, coming fresh off the news here, fresh off the news here. Ohio State's first matchup. Ohio State taking on Oh boy, probably one of the matchups they did not want to have here. <laughs> and that is uh, Loyola Chicago, home of Sister Jean. Kyle, tell, tell me why they did not want this matchup. This is, this is a top 20 defense here, and Ohio State struggled against teams who played really good defense and I guess I guess the one good thing from here is that they're not an overly tall team. Like they only have two players that's over six seven here, so they don't have to worry about 
taking on seven foot giants <laughs> in this game, but man, yeah, just the way they just the way they play, especially defensively, it is yeah, not the kind of matchup Ohio State wants wants to see here. But you know, as you said though, they're not a they're not a super tall team, which is where Ohio State has struggled in the past. So that's that's great. Because like like I said, like if you're if you're missing your power forwards and if your center is a journeyman guy who is fine. Uh but that's mm-hmm. it. Like he's fine. Um I it's it's nice to play a, it's nice to play a team that's not not overly big. It's nice to play if you're gonna if you're gonna play like a small conference team. It's nice to play a salt, small conference team that has some upsets in their past, so that you're not taking them super lightly. So like, yep. of all the teams in the Missouri Valley Conference, this is probably the one you know. <laughs> Unless yeah. you graduated from a Missouri Valley Conference uh, school, uh, this is probably the one Missouri Conference. Uh, Missouri Valley Conference team, you you actually know, so um, yeah, and and the and the one big person that every everybody has to know here is their guard Lucas Williamson. He's their heart and soul, especially when they play defense. Just plays lights out defense, and man, it's and and we've seen too. Like Ohio State doesn't really have a true good like point guard, someone who can really handle the ball, and. I think we're going. I think we're going to really see it here. I mean, how how much how is going to struggle trying to get get their offense rolling, try to get through their their plays because of the the disruptance that Lucas Williamson is going to have, as well as the rest of rest of his team too. But good news if you if you look at history here, Ohio State's never lost to them. <laughs> they're they, they're four and zero in history against playing um, playing this team. Uh, last time that they played each other, uh, had a found a tweet from Andrew Lind here. Uh, he said that last time Ohio State played the Ramblers um, was back in 2006 in Columbus, where Ohio State won 87 to 75. But this is <laughs> this is going to be completely different. Not not in not in Columbus. It's kind of close. It's it's in Pittsburgh, but. Uh, <laughs> Not not in Columbus. Uh, it is a as I'm just seeing this come come into our feed, Jared. Friday a twelve fifteen tip off. It's not going to be a later afternoon. It's going to be a shortly afternoon uh, tip off here. Ohio State and Loyola. Um, me- meanwhile, we have Odin, Odin Nomad down there. One posting pictures of Odin, but two um, trying to name as many Missouri conference. Uh, Missouri Valley Conference teams that that he can that he can think of, Valpo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew you'd like that mistake, Nomad. Um, the yeah, so I mean, okay, Valpo. I, I think I'm going to end it there, though. He named a couple other ones. I like. And, and here, here's a here's another name here. Some local local Columbus. Um, Basketball fans may, may know this name, uh, Braden, yeah. Braden Norris. He's a native Hilliard, Ohio, out of Hilliard Bradley High School. Um, and he plays for for the Ramblers. All right. So, Kyle, how, how are you feeling about Ohio State's... So, let's just say they catch fire. All right. Let's say they catch fire. Let's 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 give them that, right? Okay. Um, how are you feeling about like their, their bracket, you know, their, their side of the bracket? How, how, just, how are you feeling? <laughs> if they can win one game, I'd be happy. I'd be happy. <laughs> All right. So they pretty much, they pretty much would be playing Villanova next. So you're, you're saying that's a bad thing. Yeah, that's a bad thing, Jared. Okay. Um, I'd rather them be in the, uh, like in the Midwest here, where if they were still a seven seed, potentially play like an Auburn team, I, I feel better about Ohio, chances, Ohio State's chances against Auburn more than Villanova. Yeah, so... Man. 
villain Nova. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a tough it is a very tough um region, regional there. Villanova's in there. Tennessee's playing hot right now. You got Illinois in here. You got Arizona. It's a it is a tough tough regional. Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean you 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 totally screw yourself when you allow yourself to fall down to a to an eight seed or excuse me, a seven seed. Um, yeah, it's I mean, to, cause you're immediately playing number two. If you win. Um, yeah, they, they, they screwed themselves hard. Woo. So yeah. it's like, I, and like we dropped hopes of a sweet 16 a while ago. Um, but once you fall down to seven, and then falling to seven means you're 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 stuck playing a really good team in round two. You're you're yep. screwed at that point. Um, yeah. But here's the thing: if I can say this, Kyle, if I if I can pay a compliment to the Ohio State basketball team, they are very good at winning games they have no business winning. Yeah, there there is that. There is that. that I could almost make the argument, as absurd as it sounds, Kyle. I could almost make the argument that they're more (laughs) like, I couldn't say it with a straight face. They're more likely to lose in round one than they are in round two. Is that an absurd thing to say? On the surface, absolutely. I mean, I mean, but if you look at what Ohio State's done this year at times. Yeah, like you said, Jared. Um, like they they beat Duke, they beat Seton Hall, they beat Wisconsin, Illinois. Yeah, te- teams that they weren't really expected to to win, they did. You said it yourself that the one game that they won in that last stretch was the one game you weren't expecting them to win, and they lost all the winnable ones. Yeah, taking down Villanova. If we can get past Loyola. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yep, like I said, it, this Friday, 12-15, tip-off against the Sister Jeans. <sighs> yeah. All right, Kyle. Do um, you want to you wanna give any bracketology tips to anyone? How, who are you feeling right now? How are you feeling? Who are um, you feeling? Like, I know we're, do, we're doing a bracket in the Sloopcast server, so I'm not asking you to give away. I'm not asking you to give away all of it. Um, anyone you like, is, is there anyone, any, any less obvious, like, okay, no, no number ones, no number twos, no number ones, no number twos. Who do you think has a chance going to the final four? Who's, who you got like an underdog, you got an underdog in there. I think just because they've been, they've been playing very, very well lately. I don't know. I, I really, I really. <laughs> he, he backed I, off. I, that. I, know, I know that. Whatever that I, thought I know was, that they, he let it go. Yeah, I mean, I, Iowa, Iowa's playing really hot right now. But I know, I know they lost in the Big Ten championship game. But I really like, I really like their regional Purdue. Like they, I really like the regional that they're in there. I, yeah, don't don't sleep on Purdue, uh, Illinois potentially too. Um, I don't know. I really don't feel strong, strongly this year about a anybody that's not like a one or two here. I think there's a couple of like really strong that's up top, and then yeah, I, I would say outside of a one and two, I would say I would say Purdue would probably be my my first shot. All right. Well, I I'm I'm not even gonna try. Um, uh, Nomad says Providence. So that's, that's the one he's going to throw out there. Which, you know, you, you picked a three seed, he picked a four seed. So, you know, it's, it's, there's always that one team. He says UCLA as well. Um, there, there's always that one team that is, but you, like, you can never predict who that one team is though. Right. So someone, someone, yeah. will, someone will end up busting something open, but like, I dare you to guess who, right? 
Um, yeah, that, that's the thing. Like, I was, I was just like, who's it going to be? Um, yeah. And by the way, like, I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I was looking at UCLA, which is one of the n- names Nomad uh, down in our chat there, name check. Yeah. They play Wyoming. Um, then, or excuse me, they play Akron. Then they'd play either St. Mary's or Wyoming. Um, after that, they would play the winner, uh, which, you know, could be Baylor, Norfolk State, North Carolina, Marquette, who I, I think those, all, all those teams are, are, are fairly beatable. Um, I, I don't, I think UCLA might be a good, I think UCLA might be a, a good, a good candidate potentially. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like I like that call, Nomad. I like that call a lot. Yeah. All right, Jared. I think that's it. I think that's it for for today's episode here. All right. Um, for a sixteen seed. Oh, he said right state as well. Uh, good luck on that. Good luck. Good luck. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, the gangland gangland's typing. I'm going to see, does, does he have a, does he have a buster prediction? I want to give, I want to give gangland an opportunity here. Gangland, we're waiting on you. No, he's not typing up oh, Rutgers. He says, is it Rutgers in a play in game? Oh, I'm sorry. I called it a play in game. Oh. Kyle, you're gonna have to punish me later. Um, the, aren't they a first round team? <laughs> yep. They are a. They are in, it's not a first round, it's the first four, is what they call it, the first four here. And they, they, they the play, play Rutgers games. and, they play Rutgers and Notre, Rutgers plays Notre Dame, and the winner gets to play Alabama. Man, they'd be screwed if this was football. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, the, sure, I guess. Uh, I, 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 I lost, Hey, I lost some points in our big 10 tournament. Cause I kind of was like, you know what? Let's see what Rutgers can do. Let's see what I gave. I gave them a couple games. That I, I shouldn't have given them. Um, <laughs> I thought the same thing too, gangland. I thought the same thing too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, Kyle, that's it. That's the end of the episode. Um, once again, I'd like to point out to everyone that we are we are doing our own little piece of madness in our Discord server. One, we have our own uh, tournament, our own bracket, our own bracket competition inside the Discord server. All you have to do is join the Discord server. Joining the Discord server is free. This is a free bracket. This is a free Discord server. There are premium sections of the Discord server, but you don't you don't need that to join the bracket. You also don't need that to participate in our uh, incredibly stupid tournament that we are also doing, which is the Discord server choosing my next tattoo. The the Discord server will pick my next tattoo. This is a thing I am actually doing. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, voting is already underway. Now, the voting won't close until Wednesday. So if you're listening to this on Tuesday, it'll close at some point on Wednesday. I, you want an actual time? Well, too bad. It's whenever I get around to making the second round. That's the time. But it'll be on Wednesday. So I promise you that it'll be on, it'll be on Wednesday. So this is a, if you're listening to this on a Tuesday, you have time. Join our Discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com, uh, and you get to choose our choose my next tattoo. I almost said R, Kyle. <laughs> you want you want to get this tattoo with me? It would, it would be Kyle's first. I no 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 comment, no mad. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it. That that's all the things I feel like doing. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Um, other than like, there really isn't any other kind of sports going on other than, other than bat college basketball going on and the MLS kicking up here. So I'll, I'll, I'll plug in with the Columbus crew again here. So next the Columbus crew gets to play New York Bulls next, 
next Sunday up in New York at 2 o'clock. Again, Sunday, 2 o'clock, Columbus taking on the Red Bulls. Baseball's not a sport, Nomad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hush, we're talking Wait a sports. There was we're a lock. Sports. There was a lockout. <laughs> the, the the baseball was locked out. Oh yeah, and then some some quarterback unretired too, Jared. Uh, wh- wh- whatever. Uh, I'm sure it won't matter in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. That's the end of the episode. Yeah. All right, yes. uh, tonight's ending music was brought to you by Signals Midwest. Uh, Signals Midwest is a Cleveland-based band. Uh, you can uh, you can listen to their new song by doing nothing. Just just by keep listening to the podcast. Um, if you're listening to the audio version, if you're if you're if you're listening to the YouTube version, if you're watching the YouTube version, there will be a link down in the description where you can listen to the song because YouTube. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and of course support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Signals Midwest. <laughs>